Hi, love box. So I am sitting in the most awkward position, and I look like crap, but this is going to be a quick review video on two mascaras. I have used these before. This is the um, L'Oreal Paris Telescopic Carbon Black. I absolutely love this mascara, but I wanted to compare it to another mascara to see if it was any different. And this is the L'Oreal Voluminous Butterfly Mascara. And I'm just going to open these up and get right into them so that you guys can see the difference between the two and see if there's one that you like better. Don't mind my hair because I have done nothing with it. I know you can't really see it because of all the lights. Like, there's tons of windows in here. I'm not at home. The TV's on, so I just realized you can probably hear that in the background, so I'm sorry. Um, but let me get right into this, and then I will go through the claims at the end of the video so that you guys can just watch this review part, and I'm sitting how I'm sitting so that I'm closer to the camera so that you guys can see better. Please, if I fall laugh all you want because I am probably going to fall. So the first one is going to be the Voluminous Butterfly Mascara. Um, I only have tried this one in the waterproof formula but I heard a lot of better things about the non-waterproof formula and I really wanted to give this a shot so here we go and I'm sorry if I block the viewfinder at all. So I'm just going to start with one coat on each eye. I really did enjoy the waterproof formula but it was extremely hard for me to get off at the end of the night so I kind of stopped using it because I just did not want to have to grind on my eyes so hard with a makeup wipe or makeup remover because it really irritates my eyes and it's really not good for your eyes to be rubbing that hard so I have no complaints so far um, I feel like this applies pretty much like the waterproof formula. It's probably going to dry a lot softer. I don't know if you guys can see it. Do the bottom lashes. I hate how I wrinkle my forehead when I apply mascara. It's horrible. Okay. Now we're going to switch over to the other eye. And I'm going to be using the L'Oreal Telescopic Carbon Black Mascara. Again, this is like my tried and true. I already know how this looks. A lot of people don't like it, I've heard. And a lot of people don't like the brush. But you can see the brush is just super duper tiny. I do feel like this one takes a little bit longer to apply just because of the size of the brush and I'm not going to do this too super neat just because I don't want it to take longer and this video will be, you know, 15 minutes long which, you know, usually that happens anyway. I feel like my face looks really big how I am right now. So there's that one. Obviously the light is not hitting me directly in the face. It's more off to the left. So you're going to be able to see one side better than the other, which sucks. But I will try to move around at the end of this video so you guys can see it. Oh, and I just got it underneath there. Okay, so there is one coat of each. I don't know how well you guys can see that. And they're both extremely wet formulas right now because of the fact that they are so new. I don't know if you guys saw this, but this is the brush for the butterfly one. It's really wonky, but it works really well. So I'm going to go in and do a second coat on this eye. I 
actually am really liking this better than the waterproof formula. It's definitely giving me that thicker fuller lash effect towards the outer edge. And the bristles feel like they do pick up all of your lashes, so it's really nice. And I do feel like two coats is definitely going to be like your limit on this so I'm not going to try to go in for a third coat most of the time with mascara I only do one to two coats anyway just because I have contacts and they seem to bother my eyes quite a bit and I do not curl my lashes just so you guys know because actually curling your lashes is really really bad for them and it damages them and makes them fall out so I avoid that at all costs I'm not really sure what to say about this L'Oreal telescopic one just because I have loved this one so much for so long. Um, but I have to say I'm, I'm really liking the butterfly one a lot more than what I liked at the last round that I used it in the waterproof formula. And I got a text. And I got another text. <laughs> Okay, so those are the two mascaras with two coats. I did make a huge freaking mess, so don't mind that. I didn't grab a Q-tip to try to touch up any of the messes. But let me grab the camera here and hopefully not drop it and give you guys a better close-up. I don't know if you guys can really see a huge difference, but I think I'm actually liking the Butterfly Mascara a little bit more. Um, now, as for the claims, I'm trying to hold my camera and do this. The L'Oreal Telescopic says dramatic looking lengthening mascara, two times the intensity, um, dramatic looking length, and it's, oh, let's see. Hold on, you guys. I actually have to learn to read. Just kidding. Uh, visibility lengthens lashes up to 60% and exclusive carbon black pigments provide two times the intensity. So there's not really any claims. It's ophthalmologist and allergy tested, removes easily with soap and water, suitable for sensitive eyes and contact lens wearers, and fragrance free. I think that's why I've liked this one for so long because of all of those and it does not irritate my eyes. And then the butterfly mascara says stretches lashes to corner. Uh, fanned out volume and on the back it says infused with 1.2 millimeter fibers instantly coats the lashes with a soft and delicate veil for longer looking silky feeling lashes with up to six times the volume clump free flake free smudge free ophthalmologist and allergy tested suitable for sensitive eyes and contact lens wears tested under whatever you don't need to know all that so Basically, they both have the same exact claims, and they do both feel the same exact way on my eyes. I would say the um, L'Oreal Telescopic is a little bit more of a wet formula, and um, this one is a wet formula just because I opened it, but it's like one of those ones that get better over time, and so is the Telescopic one. So this is my review. I really didn't want it to be 10 minutes long. I hope you guys enjoyed this, and if you want me to do more reviews like this, please click the like button, and I will try to get some more out for you. And again, thank you guys so much for watching, and I will see you next time. Bye!